Ammonia is a weak base that reacts with water according to this equation. And then they give this equation right here. And I say, will any of the following increase the percent of ammonia that is converted to the ammonium ion in water? And then they give us three, you know, different uh, scenarios here. So the first thing is, is that, you know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit bigger just so that we can work with it. So I got NH3. So that's ammonia. That's a weak uh, base. This is reacting with water. And it comes to equilibrium, right, with NH4 plus, so ammonium ion, and then we got OH minus. Okay, so we're going to be looking at these in three separate examples. So pay no mind to B and C for now. We're just going to be working with A. Okay, so what is the object of the game? The question said, will any of the following increase the percent of ammonia that is converted to the ammonium ion? So it seems like they want to force a reaction. Now we got to figure out which way they're forcing either the forward reaction or the reverse. Let's see. They want to increase the percentage of ammonia. This is ammonia that is converted to ammonium ion, which is this. So if I want to convert or turn over this to this, seems like I want to do the forward reaction. So basically, I'm going to just make a mental note. I need to go to the forward reaction. That's what this question is asking for. Let's see which one of these will give me a forward reaction. Letter A. We're going to add NaOH. All right. So NaOH, in previous chapters, we have learned that NaOH is a very, very, very strong base. It's one of your bases that is strong. There's six strong bases, and NaOH is one of them. Remember, strong bases break down very, very, very close to 100%. So when you're talking about NaOH, talk about it in terms of its ions. NaOH will break down into Na plus and OH minus. Now I'm going to scan to see if any of the ions match. Oh, I got an OH minus. I have an OH minus. That's what I'm going to be looking at. Now, if I'm adding NaOH, if this is increasing, that means that I'm going to have way more OH minus, right? So when I look at my balanced equation, what I did was essentially I added more OH minus ion. So this is going to increase. Now we're doing Le Chatelier's principle. Le Chatelier's principle says if you increase that amount, you have way too much. You actually need to get rid of it because we need to go back to equilibrium. So when you have way too much, and in this case we have way too much OH-, you will shift to the opposite side. So will we produce more of this? No, we won't. We will shift to the opposite side. Do the arrows match? No, they do not. Remember, this is what we want. But in this instance, if we increase this, we will shift to the uh, left side. So will A, uh, you know, increase the percentage of ammonia that's converted to ammonium ion? No, the arrows do not match. So I'm just going to say a big no. Now, let's work on B. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Actually, 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 I think I can just say A, and let's just keep this up here, right? Okay, now for letter B. We're adding HCl. So same exact idea as what we had before. HCl. Remember, HCl is one of your six strong acids. So this is going to dissociate. So what's it going to dissociate into? H plus and Cl minus. This, you know, learning how to break them down goes way back into the beginning of the chapter. Those types of, you know, ideas will never, ever go away. That's why it's really important to 
master those, you know, before we do harder work like this. But I got all those videos for you, so good, just, you know, run through the chapters, okay? Anyway, let's continue. So just like we did here, let's try to match and see if I could, you know, match up H plus or CL minus. But uh-oh, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh, actually, let me, let me get rid of this because we're not doing that anymore. But I'm looking and I don't see an H plus and I don't see a CL minus. What do I do? Well, here's the thing. With acids and bases, right, H plus is going to react with which one out of these? This is the most strongest, basically, acid component in an acid, right? Whenever we talk about acids, we always say H plus. Whenever we talk about bases, which one of these do we generally talk about? It's the OH minus. H plus is, you know, symbolic for being an acid. OH minus is symbolic for being a base. So when you're adding a really, really strong acid, the H plus, or maybe I'll actually put that in red because that's the acid, the H plus will react with the OH minus. Very important concept right here, which we will discuss in the acid base chapter. H plus will always react with OH minus, and that will turn into water. Okay, now we can do this as two things. You can say that since we added HCl, right, that increased. That means that the H plus increased, so this is going up. And now what's happening? We are producing H2O, and that's going to increase. And now I say, is H2O on here? Yes, it is. It's right here. So we can say that this is going up. Now, there's another way that you could also think about this, which is actually the better way of thinking of it because this is a liquid versus the OH minus, which is aqueous. If you are reacting H plus with OH minus, right, you're taking from your reserves that you had. So what's really going on with the OH minus? If I'm converting this into H2O, I need to bring this down. That's what's happening. In order to produce H2O, we are really lowering the amount of OH minus. And that's also the um, arrow here. So you could have seen this as an increase in H2O or a decrease in OH minus. For this instance, either way, you know, would work. This one is kind of a little iffy because you're talking about a liquid and liquids technically aren't allowed to be in the K expression. So for case and purposes, I'm going to be talking about the OH minus. Now what happens if you drop the amount? Well, if you drop the amount, you have way too little. You need to get it back. So if I need to get it back, I need to shift to that side. So will I go this way to produce this more? Or will I go this way to produce this more. If I need to get it back, I got to shift to the same side. This is the product side, so I will be shifting this way to get it back. And then coming back to the question, do the arrows match? Yes, they do. So this would answer the question. It would increase the percentage of ammonia that's converted to the ammonium ion. So for letter B, the answer is yes. One more try, guys, right? So let's just erase this all. And now, maybe I'll put letter C over here. The addition of NH4Cl. So just like the same exact thing, guys, right? NH4Cl, this is a salt. Break it up into its two ions. And in this case, I have the ammonium ion, NH4+, and the Cl-. minus look for the same thing in the balanced equation. Oh, the NH4, right? That matches with this. So let's just run through the game. If you're adding NH4Cl, this is going to increase, which means that this will increase. So I accidentally, or maybe purposely, I added NH4. Now let's do Le Chatelier's principle to see whether I'm going to be going in the forward direction because of this. 
If you added that much, you have way too much, right? If you added more NH4, you have way too much of it. You got to get rid of it. And you will always shift to the opposite side. So I will not make more of it. I already have too much. I got to go in the reverse direction. Do the arrows match? No, they do not. So would this answer the question? No. You would go in the opposite direction. And there you go. Three different questions. And the answers are no, yes, and no. And hopefully this helped. We are done with this question. Big one, but I know you guys got this, yeah? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That would mean a lot to me and my brother. And I thank you so much for that. Let's keep rocking and rolling. And I will see you in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.